Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My, <laughs> before I get to it, my husband, every time I listen to a YouTube, it's always like, hey guys, and he always makes fun of it. And I'm like, I do that too. I'm like, well, you have to be like welcoming. You can't be like, hey, so let me show you this. So anyway, hi guys, I'm Polly. <laughs> so all that is beauty, right? Now, man, do I love makeup, but I was kind of like lately, I just, what more can I have? Like I have too much of everything as is, and I'm not some kind of like a beauty guru. So I don't know. Um, so now I'm buying makeup that I'm really interested. It really, really, really can add something to my massive collection that I already have. So I want to share a little, uh, maybe not that little, but a whole. It's not a crazy haul, nothing crazy expensive or luxurious. I mean, honestly, I love videos with luxury. Do I? I don't know. They just kind of make you feel like you're missing out on something. And even like perfumes. I love perfumes. I do videos on fragrances. And then I watch these like hauls and something and they're talking about this amazing bottle, this niche, niche. I am not paying $300, $500 for a fragrance. That is bonkers. I don't care how beautiful it smells. But let's get to it. All right. So from Sephora, let's do Sephora first. So online, I ordered, I put in order. This was like a little kit and it was on sale. So it's already a reduced price because it's a kit and then it was on sale. And I really wanted to try this. This is the Glow Recipe, the watermelon. So it's the sleeping mask and this is the mist. So besides watermelon, how beautiful it smells and blah, 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 and how cute the pink is, it also has AHAs. So they're all, both of them are anti-aging and exfoliating. As much as I have an issue with exfoliants, that's kind of how I like to find things because it's not medical line it's not medical grade which means it's going to be a lot less abrasive that's what i need <laughs> so i got these i love that it's you know what as small as this is i do feel first of all if you ever see this kid get it to try it but i can see the value in the big one because the consistency is so thin very jelly you really don't use a lot every time you use it. So even the big one, as, as pricey as it may be, it really gonna last a long, long time. And the reason I got it is because I already had this one, the Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask that I got at like a beauty box. And it's one of my favorite products besides the packaging, cause it's really, you see how narrow it is here to like get in there, but it's one of my favorites, very hydrating, and it has retinol, and same thing, a little bit goes a really long way. So I love this, I already was eager to try the other one, and it was on sale. So I got that, and another thing that I got on sale, I got this little guy <laughs> uh, by Viseart. I always wanted to try their eyeshadows, but I'm, I don't wanna try something with an expensive, price tag just because of the hype i mean the hype you know comes and goes after two weeks so is it really so i got the little guy and which one is this the petite pro 2 and i really like it it was also on sale and i really like it because it has the purple here it has a cool tone deep brown so both of these are pretty deep colors, so kind of deepen it up. If you go lighter, you can get a, more of a wash. This is a nice kind of spring summer, but you can also use it with a brown and get more of an autumn feel to it. This is the same thing, just a nice kind of nude, beautiful shimmers, shimmers that I can actually use and a nice, uh, yeah, like a really perfect little minimalist little palette. I really like it and the quality is really good, so. I'm happy about that. I don't feel the need to expand on that. Um, then yesterday I went to Sephora because I was there and it's my birthday month. So have a little birthday gift from them. 
And I wanted to look at Natasha Denona. I have, let me open my little thing. So from her, I don't have the big palettes because I'm looking at them. They, it's like they look better in a commercial, but when you're literally looking at it, I didn't get anything. I don't know, it just, it didn't wow me. It didn't look like something I don't have. I don't know. I mean, it's beautiful packaging, but I am paying like $65 for, I don't know. It wasn't, it's beautiful. If it'll, I'll see one of those on like a big discount, I'll definitely pick up. Like the cool nudes is really nice, but I don't know. It wasn't like, oh my God, I must have you. But so I have this one, the mini nude palette. I had it for quite a while. I love it. Beautiful browns and neutrals and golds. Looks to my heart. And then the other one that it was constantly on sale. It's this one. This is the mini Lila palette. Just deep, funky, not funky, but just like a little bit different colors. And again, with a beautiful brown and a gold. So I got this one. So I've been dying to get the mini gold. I saw it yesterday. And it is beautiful as I thought it would be and so much more. But it's very glamorous. The gold is very glamorous. I ain't going nowhere. Besides, I'm really not going anywhere that I need to look glamorous. I like doing my makeup. I like looking huge, presentable, put together. It's fun for me. All of that. Yes, yes, yes. Check, check, check. But I'm... I don't want to have something as much as I want it, as much as I think it's beautiful and worth it, that just sits there because there's nothing, there's no occasion for me to use it. Uh, and if I want to have a glamorous look, I already have enough palettes for that once in a blue moon that I can use. I wanted something more practical that I will actually reach for, actually use, and is different. So I did get the mini retro palette. This is very casual colors, very nude. They're not neutral, they're different. This green is very different. All these uh, kind of, this gr these two greens, basically they're beautiful. The pinks, like, I mean, they're just different colors. They're different combination, nothing that I really have. And it's an easy reach on a daily basis. I want things that I actually will use, can use, and it's just, good you know it doesn't just say there just sit there looking all pretty but i'm not using it like i don't want that you know and the, the girl in Sephora. well yeah i can see you're very casual i'm like this is not by choice this is life you roll with it i'm like i'm not gonna like get all glammed up to go to marshall's or albertson's like it's just not gonna happen i mean so I love this. That's what I have on my eyes today. I love it. It's so easy. And honestly, like I can already see how you can do a few different looks. When I do my makeup, I do it here and I already have a few other deeper shades or even, you know, just from these palettes, you can deepen it up. You can glam it up a little bit more. So I'm really happy with this one. Really, 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 really happy. Then in my birthday gift, I chose this one by NARS, the Laguna, this little kit, and it's really nice. So the bronzer is, there's a smaller version of this one, which I have somewhere, and it's like tiny. It's like almost half of this size, and this is a really good size. Like, you get a brush that everybody knows the size of it. So this is, you just for reference in terms of, you see, like, it's a nice size. Like this is gonna last. This is very practical, very usable. And it came with a little lip balm. That's what I got on today. I actually like, it has a shade. It's like, it looks brown, but comes off, has a bit of a tint to it. I really like it. Cause I heard a lot about their lip balms, but I'm like, I ain't paying no $20 for a freaking lip balm. I have lip balms, really good ones, but yeah, it's really good. <laughs> it is. They have another kit of um, of two. One um, one is the Orgasm and another one from a different one. Also, like two little minis, and I think they're really good. 
as much as I love lipsticks, one, I have a shit ton of them. I don't need any more. But we're working with a mask. So I'd rather have a lip balm and kind of heal my lips than, than use something, even if it's a matte liquid lipstick that doesn't transfer, it doesn't matter. No one still can see it. So, you know, I'm happy about this little little kit a lot. I use like even the bronzer today. I don't have any blush or nothing, just a bronzer. I really like it. It's I have something going on with, with my skin that everything turns orange on me lately. Like all my bronzers. I have a few that are neutral, so they don't do that. But And this one has like a yellow, it's like greenish. It's not green, but it has like something there that it's not cool tone, has warmth, but it's not an orange warm tone bronzer. And I love this, Laguna. Me and you are gonna be really good friends. You might end up a full size one day. That's how I like it. <laughs> getting a mini and falling in love and getting the big one. Now, speaking of minis, I also got by Replica Jazz Club. Out of all, how will I say? Okay, my favorite fragrance from them is the Coffee Break, but despise the performance i will not give it a dollar it becomes a skin scent i'm not paying a hundred dollars for a skin scent i have skin scents and they cost less than 20 and i'm okay with that i'm not okay with the 20 with a hundred dollars especially when it's a fragrance that i just want to exude i just yeah but uh i love jazz club and it has a much better performance by the fireplace is just a bit too smoky for me um also walk on the beach is stunning there's another one something under the lemon tree which is incredible if you are into your citruses it is one of the most perfect citruses ever and it performs check it out but so far i got the jazz club because again i love this fragrance but it's not going to be my everyday, so why have the full size if you can just get the, the sprayer? You know, just the little guy, and it's a spray. I don't like rollerballs. I like the spray ones. So I can see this one lasting in my collection for a very decent amount of time. Kind of reminds me of a different one. Let me actually pull it out and I'll show you. I'm back so this one I actually got like a while ago and this is by Killian the only niche fancy brand kind of thing that I got uh, let's settle this like adults in the bedroom naked I totally agree that's the best way to settle things I mean nailed it so that's the one that I have it's also like uh, a little guy I know everybody's talking about a lot of his other fragrances, which I did smell. I like this one the most. It is a, it's floral, but it's very deep and dark and smoky floral. It's they very much, I don't know, this kind of the, the smokiness, you know, like a, like a, one of like it's like a jazz club a blues club you know something dark and whiskey and well not whiskey for me but you know more of a scotch kind of girl but it's that kind of vibe um so they're very different but they're in the same family they're like deep and dark and sexy and smoky and kind of get that vibe like this is not a daytime at all this is and the performance is amazing i get it i get it i like killian too but for me because of its uniqueness and the depth it's not going to be something that is going to be an everyday or just to reach so i don't need a full bottle i don't need to spend that much money just to show hey look at this cool bottle of killian that i have no this is plenty for me personally so that's in terms of those little guys also 
I got the little samples. You know when you order online, you can get samples. So I did get samples. And let me show you. So one I got by Ilya, this one. Uh, Sarah Foundation um, Life Coverage with 40 SPF. I was so excited. So excited. It's like super serum skin tint. This SPF, squalene, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide. Ooh, 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 right up my alley. And again, it's it's like 40 something dollars. If it if it's good, I'll pay. If it's good. And it wasn't. So what I didn't like about I love how little you need for it to spread. Problem with that though, when you use a little because that's all you need with this product, you're not really getting the benefit of the 40 SPF. Because true sun protection, it's not like you've got a lather, but you gotta 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 put it you gotta you gotta put it then the other issue that I had with this is it really cleaned to my dry patches where I didn't have it was beautiful it was very kind of glowy and healthy skin just what I'm looking for but anywhere that I have dry patches but even if I don't notice them with this thing I notice them a lot more and that's considering that it's a very light coverage, that it was so not noticeable, like all of this, my nose and here, like when I look in the mirror, I don't even see it. But with this, it was like, Poof. I was like, okay, so you're a no go. Uh, I also got this one, the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. Um, so I'm right now wearing the 150W. Uh, it's the only one that kind of worked and I have to say considering that it's winter and my skin looks like crap it's really not bad like compare the two this is significantly better like way better it, there's no cleaning to no patches and yesterday I had patches in a foundation that really cleaned on them and today I'm wearing this in nothing. And I didn't exfoliate, I didn't, I didn't do anything, just my regular oil routine. And it looks significantly better. I loved how dewy this one was. Uh, this one, the Anastasia, it's a lot more just natural. But I like it. I like it a lot more. I actually am pretty dumb impressed with it. So, uh, yeah. But I saw it with on uh, Ulta when they had their like I think it was a 20 day, day sale it was on sale so I'm just gonna get it the next time I see it on discount uh, but at least I know that I really like it so there's that and what else do we have here okay so here's this little guy back to fragrance I got this at Nordstrom Rack it was $20 the Catherine Melandrio something something Lenergy de New York. Uh, that's the one that they had there. They had a few that were really discounted, but this is the one that I chose. Um, I had no idea. Complete blind buy. But I kind of googled really quickly on Fragrantica, and everybody said it's very fresh, kind of masculine, and it definitely is. It's a, it's, this is 100% unisex. It doesn't leave either way. If it's going to lean somewhere, it's a little bit more like masculine 19 20 year old sport kind of everyday fresh but i really love it. it has a little bit of sweetness it's not like it's too citrusy or nothing like that i absolutely love it the performance isn't amazing but that's not why i use it so this for me and i already tried my theory so these kind of fragrances, it's either when I'm not in the mood of anything, I just want fresh. This is what I like. Uh, when I'm starting a day and again, I just want to wake up. This is what I like. It's going to fade. Another mood is going to strike me, strike me and then I'm going to use something else. But it's good because this one already went away. But for me, this is a amazing <laughs> workout fragrance. It gets me in the mood to work out because it's fresh, so it gets you that. But it has that sporty man smell, 
that sometimes you smell in the gym. So it makes me feel like I'm in the gym. <laughs> I don't know. Because it's, it's not like I'm walking around like sniffing dudes, but it, you know, when somebody wants my out, <laughs> it's just so good. And it like, yeah, like, and it's not too heavy or anything like that. Cause you don't want to like suffocate yourself when you're working out. It's not, it's very fresh. It's very light. It doesn't clean. It doesn't like stick around all that much. Just a little like kind of, you know, get you in the vibe. So yeah, I, I was wearing this cycling for like almost an hour with this thing. I love it. So it, it did the trick of what it's supposed to do. So yay for that. I'm kind of looking around because it's, it's a little messy here. So I'm like, I don't want to lose something. And then I got yesterday, this is from TJ Maxx, the Anissa Nice by Casherelle. Got a little guy. <laughs> but I sprayed it in the, bo in the box. So I don't know if this is how it used to smell or it's a different version or it's an old bottle. But either way, I like it. You can definitely tell that it's, that it's an older... Ver it's an older style of a fragrance but i like it it's like an uh, it's like those french soaps they remind you of something like um a little older in uh, in history and fresh i really like it so because i used to have it or my friend did i remember like when i was like 13 which was long long time ago once upon a time when polly was a teenager many lifetimes ago <laughs> but either way like i used to love it and i still do yeah i'm really happy it's a little guy again something like this i want and i will wear but it's not my my automatic autopilot go-to it's a mood so i don't need nothing bigger than this for a mood i have a lot of moods and some of them are very specific to satisfy that specific mood i don't need big bottles i don't need expensive fragrances I just need a little one to there you go like this one i'm gonna go through it like really quickly because to motivate me to get my ass up and work out it's a should be a daily thing <laughs> you know and this is my little friend to do that well thank you for joining me for this video this was my uh little collection of little of a few purchases it's like a a haul of collective holes but yeah so that's what i got and this is honestly the most makeup that i got in uh in a total of like over a month and that's kind of it and um uh, yeah i don't need any more i don't want any more i have so much that i haven't even used yet i'm like yeah man so yeah thank you for watching Enjoy the rest of your day. Behave. Till next time. Bye, guys.